Good morning, you guys. It snowed last night just a little bit, enough for us to have fun in it. So we are just getting the boys ready. Pax Maverick just woke up from his morning nap, and I left my camera in there. I forgot to grab it, but now I'm just looking. What am I looking for? Socks. Um, but yeah, now we're just getting ready to get the boys all ready to go outside. We got Paxton ready. He's outside. Now it's Mavi's turn. You ready to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Paxton insists on riding his bike. Whoa, you better hurry up. Come on, let's go. Gotta put some more wood on the fire. Go, 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 go. I'm waiting for Cassie to call me so I can tell her about our itinerary that I have going. She's having like a Christmas with her family. I was like, oh, I totally forgot that your family's there. So just FaceTime me another time so I can tell you everything that I have planned. I'm so excited. And I don't want her to come like all this way to just like, I know we would just have fun just hanging out, but I feel like when you travel, you know, so far somewhere to, that you've never been, it's like you want to experience stuff while you're there. So I want to show her around places that we've gone to that we really like and that are, you know, big around where we live. So I think she'll have so much fun. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited for those vlogs when we share them with you guys because a lot a lot of you guys know that we've been friends for so long and have wanted us to um meet for so long i think it'll be really fun for you guys to like experience us meeting each other doing things together when we're doing fun things it'll be so fun to take you guys along and to document it like we of course love documenting our life and to document the first time us meeting each other and doing things together will be awesome to look back on but anyways, let me put some on this fire. I just cleaned up before dinner. Um, do you ever do that and then you have dinner and you're like, why did I bother cleaning up before dinner? Um, but yeah, I can't stand cooking when the kitchen is messy. Even though it wasn't messy, I was just like being crazy. What? 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 This little boy was playing his <laughs> kitchen. So there got there was water all over the floor because... It was splashing it everywhere and I didn't have a towel down. Usually when they play with it, I put a towel down. What do you want? M more? More milk? <laughs> He's a little ham, you guys. And it's just a lazy night. We're not doing like anything. But I've been pinning like crazy because I'm thinking about changing the living room around. Um, yeah. The one thing that I wish we had is I wish we had like a foyer or like something where, I guess like a foyer. I wish we had a foyer so like instead of you just like walking into our living room, it was kind of like a little entryway type thing. Um, so I'm thinking about, which we used to have it a long time ago, um, the couch reversed, not against that wall, but it was when we had an old couch and I didn't Ooh. like the couch Ooh. and it like, it didn't look good but i'm thinking about we would put the tv on this wall back here and the couch over there and i would do something like really cute on that wall um like i'd want to make this wall like a collage type wall with like pictures and like photos like with like photos and like art stuff on that wall and then this buffet would go obviously on this side even though i would eventually like a new entertainment thing to go under that because that's not even really like an entertainment thing just like a buffet that we put under it but it is um old so i wouldn't want to get rid of it but um yeah and i think when if we had the couch reverse i need you guys help on this um if we had the couch reversed it would kind of go like see where this couch is it would go like along the, like right there but like facing this way we would have like a kind of buffet type table behind it and that would be like 
decorative type stuff and Rob would build that. So let me know what you guys feel about that. And then that way over there was kind of more like an entry feel, like hallway type feeling instead of just like walking into our living room. I don't even know if that's making sense, but if you follow me on Pinterest and see some of my pins I've recently pinned in living room or slash home, you might know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I would kind of just, I mean, I like the way it looks in here. Um, obviously it's not like exactly how I would like it with like paint and all that stuff, but I like the setup, but I feel like it would be more cozy if it was flipped around. I don't know. So we don't give the boys baths together because it's just a nightmare every time we give them a bath together because Hawkinson doesn't want to use splash, start screaming, they're hitting each other. So we just started giving them showers together. So much easier. But they are crazy. Been in for too long. That's a sign. Time to get out. But they're like bouncing around in there, freaking out. <laughs> I'm still wearing the same outfit as I wore last night. I didn't end the vlog. Maverick's sleeping. I didn't go to church this morning because both the boys have like stuffy noses and they're not like super sick, but they definitely still have like colds and stuff. So keeping them home. I was cleaning and organizing today. I switched our living room around at like, I don't even know, 10.30 last night. You guys, I don't know if I'm committed to it or not. I'm still trying to figure it out. So this is like where our TV used to be. So now this is where the buffet is. Eventually I wanna get like a bigger entertainment um, like thing down here. But Rob will make that eventually, not right now. So for right now I have that here. Then eventually, this lamp's not gonna be here, but we'll, we will put the TV up here. After a few days, we're not gonna move the TV until we really decide whether we wanna keep it here or not. Eventually, I want to redo, just like restain it with a darker stain. And then this is here. This is not gonna stay here, I'm sure. I'm putting Christmas stuff away now. And then over here, this I'm not keeping here. I don't know. I feel like we only need one here. This one just takes up like too much room. What do you guys think? And then on this TV, where this is, I want to do a collage right here. And I would love to do like a sit bench where like you can sit and put on your shoes and stuff. And on this side, we are going to do, Rob's making a, um, I guess like a sofa table. So it'll be a table that goes right here with it will have where I can put like um baskets and stuff so I thought that would be cute to kind of like divide their room so yeah I don't know you guys I'm not sure if I'm loving it um let me know down below what you guys think I kind of just like the feel of it because I feel like you kind of have like an entryway before you walk into the living room even though you're in the living room still I feel like this section like right here will kind of be like a little divider before going into the living room. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, Cause I felt like before it was just like, okay, you're in the living room, shoes, like the boys will take their shoes off, Rob will take his shoes off. And it's like, it just feels like everything ends up all over the place. I don't know if this is making sense you guys, but <laughs> leave a comment if you guys are getting what I'm trying to go for. I would love just like a smaller, um, sofa chair over there but obviously that's not gonna happen um so yeah i'm kind of just trying to work with what we have because obviously we're not buying any, like new furniture we just bought this not long ago um and i still like it a lot but i'm just trying to the one thing we're going to try to budget for is like each month put in like home supplies to build this table it's not going to cost us a lot to build it for the wood and stuff but you still want to get like decent wood um, so it'll probably cost us like $120 to complete this, but so far, I like it. These kids are just playing with our train, and it's Mavi's turn to control, and he's just going a little too fast. Mavi, slow down. Thank you. You're going to make the Polar Express crash. But I FaceTimed my mom and showed my mom and asked her what she thought of it she actually really liked it which is nice and then i put this little bench over here um and then i'm going to do a 
what's it called a collage wall up here and this i probably won't leave here until when this is done but for now i figured it looks <laughs> looks kind of cute um and i think i might even paint that and then sand over it i'm trying to work with what we have right now so that's what that looks like the boys are eating lemon and oh i love lemon you guys like i always have and wouldn't surprise me if they love lemon as well but maverick just literally put a whole piece in his mouth i think that was the first time he's it's spicy i don't think it's spicy i think it's sour yeah you want me to try it Let's see mm. Side. Yeah, mommy loves lemon. Mom, like you want more? He likes it. Baking. Oh my gosh, I can't even. How is it? Is it good? Do you like it? You don't like yours? Do you like yours? It's yummy. It's yeah. Nice. Everyone's downstairs. Huh? Rob, it's coming up. I'm going through their advent calendars because I know there's some slots that we did not eat. Hey, what? Stay away from mine. No. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so this one was Paxton. So let's see if there's any chocolate. His is probably gone because he snuck this. <coughs> oh, I see some in here. Got two. <laughs> And the reason there's some left is either we forgot to do it one day or Paxton just was like out of sorts but he didn't get to oh, they open found his. And one of the days, him and Maddie opened, well, really him, opened half of his up and started eating them all. Let's see, Maddie. Let's check yours. I did mine pretty well. Huh? Is there? Look at the bottom. You gotta break it open. Oh, one of Maddie's. Wow. No fresh out of mine. Shocker. When Paxton was opening them up to try to get as many as he could, he just started opening like all the doors up and like shaking the thing. So they all like came out of their slots and fell to the bottom, which is why like if we open a door, we were like, oh wait, there's nothing in there hit the jackpot I got probably four candies just out of there and then I ate like five other ones so perfect I made out pretty well you thirsty uh, uh. yeah all right I have me loaf in the instant pot I'm praying that this works right 35 minutes on high okay yeah. Fingers crossed, I'm praying. I've only made meatloaf like one other time in the oven and it came out so good and usually I hate meatloaf, um, but it came out so amazing. So I'm praying it comes out good because I'm doing it in the Instant Pot. I was gonna do it in the oven, but I don't have an hour and a half because it usually takes like an hour to 15, hour 30 minutes in the oven um, the way I did it before. So Instant Pot. 35 minutes and it should be done. We shall see. And then I have the rest of the glaze. But I am praying that comes out good. And then I have um, baby red potatoes on the bottom. Rob and Paxton went to the grocery store because we're getting a couple things for our little New Year's Eve party of just us. Um, we're gonna play some board games, hang out, watch movies. The boys will play us out. And we are gonna sleep in sleeping bags downstairs. So we're so excited. Um, so Paxton is so excited. The meatloaf is done. It smells amazing and it cooked perfectly. It's totally done. And then I have potatoes at the bottom. The meatloaf was a success. Even the boys loved it, right? Mm. So good, Rom. Mm. Proud of myself, especially because it was in the Instant Pot. Mm. Right? I wasn't sure how it was gonna come out. With it being in the Instant Pot, it was almost like really close if not doing it I was just gonna have us eat way later but I'm happy it worked out good and it was like perfect timing and I'll leave the link down below 
um, with the recipe, but it was actually two different recipes. So I'm gonna have to put two different links because I went back and forth with the recipes, but it's so good. And the glaze is like everything. For sure, we had like made extra because it was so good. This is what our New Year's Eve party looks like. We have our set up all set up and Paxton's having so much fun. Are you having fun? He said, this is a fun party. Having some sun chips. Then we have Tostitos over there. And then we're making pigs in a blanket, bagel bites, these like sweet meatballs. What, babe? Nothing. You want to try one of these? Don't dip it in the cheese. The cheese is spicy, okay? I know, the cheese is spicy though. We're watching Wally. We tried to watch um, like the Times Square thing, but that didn't work out. They he did, obviously didn't want to watch it. Um, but we'll put it on closer to midnight. They will not be up by that time. I think it's like 8, 15, 8, 30 right now. We're still going strong. I feel like me and Rob are gonna make some coffee because I feel like if I don't have coffee, I'm not staying up. Like I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm tired already. <laughs> and thank goodness for our wood stove, you guys. Seriously, it's so cold out today. It's like, supposed to go down to eight tonight, so it's supposed to be so cold. It's nine o'clock, Paxton's out. Okay. Maverick is still staying strong, but he got a boo-boo on his lip. He was climbing up the cubicle and he I guess like fell on it and what? got a boo boo. <laughs> Can't really tell. Is it yummy? We have a smorgasbord boy going. What is pigs in a blanket? Bagel bites. Coffee. And what's that? Swedish meatballs? Swedish oh, meatballs. Yeah. Mm. Pigs in a blanket. <laughs> And then Rob has a glass of wine and I have ginger ale. Yum. <laughs> we lost our last little one. <laughs> I think we're just gonna stay down here because it's so warm down here. And the temperature is, what's the temperature? 10 degrees but feels like negative one. It is so brutally cold outside. It's funny because some of your subscribers probably live in other places that it's like that all the time. All the time, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Leave a comment down below. What is the temperature for New Year's Eve? What was the temperature? Because it's 9 degrees here, but it is so cold to us. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go